Hello everyone, this is Ekalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem on coordinate geometry. Okay, so here is the problem. Points A and B lie on a circle with center C. Then find the radius of the circle. So we are given two points which lie on the circle and a center. Okay, solution. Given points. A minus 1 comma Y and B 5 comma 7. So these are the coordinates of A and B. Also center C 2 comma minus 3 Y. So here what we have to find? We have to find the radius of the circle and the unknown value Y. Since you are having Y in the ordinate okay you can notice minus 3y and y which are unknowns right so we need to find y also okay so we are given that two points lie on the circle a b are two points which are lie on the circle and Center C. The coordinates of center C is 2 comma minus 3 Y. And coordinates of A minus 1 comma Y. Coordinates of B 5 comma 7. Okay. We know that if C is a center and A, B are two points on the circle then C is equidistant from A or we can say A is equidistant from C. And B is equidistant from C. Okay. So here CA and CB is a radius. CA equals to CB. If you add this two then it will be a diameter. Right. We need a radius not the diameter. So we have. Radius equals to CA equals to CB. This is our radius. This is also our radius. Okay. So if you consider a circle. If this is a center. Then any point on the circle is equidistant from C, right? Then the distance between the center and that point will be a radius. So now, we need to find the distance A and CB since we have the condition that CA equals to CB. Using this condition, we are going to find the unknown values Y, okay? So now, we got the radius which is CA equals to CB. We'll find the distance. We know that distance is given by D which is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. So let's find the distance C A and C. So first we are going to find C A. This is our C and this is our A. X2 minus x1 whole square. 2 minus of x1 is minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square minus 3y minus y whole square. So this equals to square root of 2 minus into minus plus 1 whole square plus. Since you are having 2 minus right. So take minus common then you will get 3y plus y whole square. 
So this equals to square root of 2 plus 1 is 3 square plus. Minus square is plus. Because minus into minus is equals to plus. Right? So you'll have 3y plus y is 4y whole square. So this equals to square root of 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16y square. Okay? So therefore, CA equals to square root of 9 plus 16y square. Okay? So now we are going to find the distance CB. CB is equals to square root of CB, right? 2 minus 5 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Or you can write it as 5 minus 2 whole square. 7 minus of minus 3y whole square. Okay. So this is equals to square root of 5 minus 2 is 3 square plus 7 minus into minus plus 3y whole square. So this is equals to square root of 3 square is 9 plus 7 plus 3y whole square. Okay. So we got CB. Therefore, CB equals to square root of 9 plus 7 plus 3y whole square. Okay. Since we know that Radius CA equals to CB. That is, we have CA equals to CB, which implies you are having CA equals to square root of 9 plus 16y square, which is equals to CB. CB is equals to square root of 9 plus 7 plus 3y whole square. Okay. Since CA is radius and CB is also radius. So, we are equating it. Okay. This implies. Now, we have to square on both sides. Squaring on both sides. We get square root of 9 plus 16 y square whole square which is equals to square root of 9 plus 7 plus 3 y whole square whole square. Right? So the square and square root get cancelled. So from this we will get 9 plus 16 by square equals to 9 plus 7 plus 3 by whole square. Okay. Since so this is of the form a plus b whole square. So using that formula we will expand this. So this implies 9 plus 16 by square equals to 9 plus 7 square is 49 plus 3y square 9y square plus 2 3 is a 6 6 7 is a 42 42y okay implies 
9 plus 16 by square. Now I am taking all these right hand terms to left hand side. Minus 9, minus 49, minus 9y square, minus 42y equals to 0. Which implies plus 9 and minus 9 gets cancelled. 16 minus 9 is 7. Okay. Seven by square minus forty nine minus forty two y equals to zip. Now take seven common from all the three terms, then you'll get seven into y square minus seven sevens are seven sevens are forty nine minus okay minus seven six are seven six are forty two into y which is equals to 0. Okay. This implies 7 will be vanished. Okay. So you will get y square minus 7 minus 6y. So you can write it as y square minus 6y minus 7 equals to 0. So, this implies y square minus 6y can be written as minus 7y plus y minus 7 which is equals to 0. This implies now take y common from these two terms. Then you will get y into y minus 7 plus write this as it is. The next two terms y minus 7 equals to 0. Again these are the two terms right. From these two terms we have the common term y minus 7. So take y minus 7 common. Then you will get y plus 1. That is y minus 7 into y plus 1. Okay. So from this you will get y minus 7 equals to 0 or y plus 1 equals to 0 which implies y equals to 7 or y equals to minus 1. So therefore y equals to 7 or minus 1. Okay. So, we got the value of y. Since you are having the radius CA and CB, you can substitute the values of y, 7 or minus 1 and you can find the exact radius of the circuit. Okay. So, let's find the radius of CA. CA equals to you are having square root of 9 plus 16 y square. If I will substitute y equals to minus 1. I'll substitute y equals to minus 1 then you'll get square root of 9 plus 16 into minus 1 whole square which is equals to square root of 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. So square root of 25 is 5. CA equals to 5. Okay. If you will find you will take CB CB equals to square root of 9y square plus 42, 42y plus 58. This equals to square root of 9 to minus 1 whole square plus 42 into minus 1 plus 58. So this equals to square root of 
9 minus 1 square is 1. 42 into minus 1 is minus 42 plus 58. So, 58 minus 42 will be 6, 1, 16. So, this equals to square root of 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is again 25. So, square root of 25 is 5. Okay. So, you got 5. So, radius is equals to 5 or 5. Now, you have to substitute y equals to 7. If you substitute y equals to 7, again you will get similar values for CA and CB. Okay. So, this completes the problem. So, in this video we have seen a problem. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.